Hello everyone. I am Arun Nivarajan. In this video, we are going to discuss about a topic that can be said as heart and brain of an X-ray machine. The topic name is X-ray generator circuit. Before going into the topic, first let us discuss the principle of X-ray production. The principle is X-rays are produced when fast moving electrons or suddenly stopped by the means of target material here you can see that the moving electrons are suddenly stopped so that the kinetic energy from the fast moving electrons are converted into x rays and heat next let us discuss the components in the x ray tube for that let's see what the x ray tube need it needs high voltage for x ray production why we need the high voltage just remember what we had mentioned in the x ray production principle there we have mentioned we need a fast moving electron to generate x rays in order to accelerate the electron faster we need to provide high potential difference that is high voltage what is that high voltage i will ask you a question what will be the technique that you set for a chest x ray it will be around 80 kvp right what is kvp kvp is kilo voltage peak here kilo is 1000 then 80 into 1000 that is we need 80000 volts to do that x ray let me ask you a question what will be the incoming voltage coming from the power supply just pause the video and comment below for household it will be 220 volts and in case of industrial it will be 440 volts we know that we want 80000 volts to do that chest x ray but we are having only 220 volts in order to convert this 220 volts into 80000 volts we need a equipment called transformer transformer is the equipment that changes the voltage now Let's see transformer in detail. Transformer look like this. Transformer has two separate coils of wire wrapped around a closed core. Electrical supply comes from the main source is connected to primary side of the transformer and the secondary side from the transformer is connected to the x-ray tube. Transformer has many configuration Based on this configuration the transformer may be step up or step down. Next let's see loss of transformer. Voltage in two circuit is proportional to number of turns in the two coils. The equation for this law is NP by Ns equal to Vp by Vs. The second law is power is conserved. Power means voltage into current. Here If we want voltage to be increased the current will be decreased proportionally it is inversely related the principle of transformer is electromagnetic induction the types of transformer that we are using in the x-ray generator circuit is first auto transformer second high tension transformer this will be a step up transformer third filament transformer that will be a step down transformer Now let's see the other components in the circuit. What the X-ray tube need? X-ray tube needs DC that is direct current. Before understanding the reason behind using direct current, let's see the difference between types of current. In this image, you can see this is the direct current and this is alternating current. In direct current, the current flows in only one direction. but in alternating current the current reverses in equal interval of time that is it goes from zero to positive positive to zero zero to negative and again to zero and the cycle continues since it is alternating in nature it is called as alternating current and the direction will be constant for dc while it is sinusoidal for ac Now let's discuss 
why we need direct current for x-ray tube let's say for an example we are giving alternating current to the x-ray tube during first half of the cycle the electron comes from cathode and hits the target since ac is alternating in nature the current reverses during the second half of the cycle here the electron may flow from the target and hits cathode in this case the cathode will be damaged so we need a constant current that flows in only one direction from cathode to anode hence we need direct current the equipment that converts ac into dc is called rectifier and the process of this conversion is called as rectification here i have a question to ask you we are using a machine where we supply alternating current directly into the x-ray tube yeah you heard it right x-ray machine working on alternating current not in dc name the process and give an example in the comment box i love to read your comments next rectification rectification is the process of conversion of ac into dc here current flows only in one direction in older days we have used vacuum tubes which is large bulky and there are many cases of burnout vacuum tubes looks like this in modern days we use solid state semiconductor diodes that is np semiconductors it carries current only in forward bias that is only in one direction here the triangle points the direction of conventional current and the flow of electron will be in opposite direction i had already made the separate video on this next let's see the generator efficiency we have single phase three phase and high frequency generators in single phase we have half or full wave rectified generators this is the alternating current that comes from the transformer in half wave rectified the first half of the cycle goes into the x-ray tube but the second half will be deleted and the cycle continues since only one half of the cycle is utilized it is called as half wave rectified in full wave rectified generator you can notice the second half of the alternating cycle is reversed and utilized since the cycles are fully utilized it is called as full wave rectified here we have to mention one important word that is ripple factor ripple is the fluctuations of voltage if voltage starts from zero and goes to maximum it is called as 100% ripple factor here you can see it starts from zero and goes to 100 again comes to zero and again goes to 100 so in both half and full wave we have 100% ripple factor next three phase generators here we have three phase six pulse where ripple will be 13.5 percentage and we have three phase 12 pulse that is delta and y method here ripple will be 3.5 percentage next high frequency generator in most of the modern day equipments we use these high frequency generators because it has shorter exposure and the ripple will be approximately less than one percentage and the size of the equipment is also smaller in case you want to know about this generator efficiency in detail just comment below i will make a separate video on this topic in next video we are going to discuss x-ray generator circuit in three headings for those people who are listening this topic for the first time just pause the video in middle and make hints or watch it again until then signing off arunivarajan